What's going on guys? My name is Saskio and in today's video I will be simply playing three ARAM games and commentating over what is going on and what I am thinking as the game progresses. Thank you very much for tuning in and enjoy. Round one. Fight. All right, what do we got here? We got, let's try to get Viego from this guy. We have really strong champions in this ARAM right here. Let's try to grab Silas. I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of Katarina, I will be honest. So I do prefer the Silas or Viago. So here we go. We got Silas. Not bad. Let's go set up our runes. Let's go. We can go the Dark Harvest route or we can go the Conquer route. Both options are perfectly fine. I will go with... Let's go the Dark Harvest route. Let's do a one-shot one shot angle here. Eyeball Collection. Let's go... I don't think Ultimate Hunter matters, but we'll grab it. We'll go Presence because this champion runs out of mana a lot. Grab Ability Haste here, which is what people don't often run. People want to run Attack Speed. And we'll go from there. So I play Silas a numerous amount of times in ARAM. I do find at often times you do run out of mana. So it is very highly suggested you run Presence. And a lot on not a lot of other champions that have high mana costs, you definitely want to run Presence of Mind. So that is a S tier rune in ARAM for sure compared to Overheal or Triumph. Triumph is good, for example, on Katarina. On Viago in this case, because they have no mana. Now the question is, what do we want to go? Do we want to go Rod of Ages, the more tankier route? Let's look at their team composition. Or do we want to go the full AP burst route? Or we can go the Everfrost route. Into their team composition, Everfrost seems pretty good, so we'll go down this route here. We'll grab these items over here. Head up to the map, level all our abilities. Oh, I got hit. Huh. Part this tends to suicide in ARAM pretty often, so he'll be going forward a lot. We'll be getting a lot of free kills off of him, and we'll be tanking damage after. Maybe I can get in here on. Oh, I missed my Q. I shot it behind myself and after that. That's all good. We can look for another engage soon. We're gonna max W into the E. Nope, no land. No. E land. I let my take that. I can W her and then back up for free before I take damage. And then E her again. Perfect. We'll fight backwards. Someone's gonna take that for sure. I will fight out of the card with me. The Skittles. Well, wait a second. Part this down. We can now walk up again. There's a bunch of full HP people that I'm in team. So the HP shard is respawning in two. I'm gonna grab it real quick. I'm gonna W someone so I don't die. Go back in probably. I am dead. We'll grab an Fine Comb and build our way towards the Everfrost. Our build this game will probably be Everfrost into probably a Zanya and maybe Shadow Flame, we'll see. But we're definitely looking for a Randuin. Or Rabadon, not Even Randuin. Enemy team seems to also have a lot of AC channels too, so Spirit Vistas might be a player too. Oh, I'm <laughs> I went in on my own. I'll grab the HP shard that's spawning in 8 seconds over here. That was a little bit of an intentional feed. I'll grab this here. Get back on the map. Rallying Soul's trying to hide in the bush. That will not work. You can just shoot your status keys like this if it's possible. Looks like the enemy's gonna stop suiciding, so we're playing pretty far back here. Maybe try to land our level 1 Q on someone. Like that really installed. We got two props, not bad. And we're pretty AFK. We can snowball forward. And then W, then E away. That, he might take that. I can also go like this. We'll definitely grab this one though. Yeah, for healing, there's the initial heal, where you pick up, whoever picks up the HP gets the initial heal. And then there's a secondary heal that anyone can pick up also. 
to fight back, dodge the Aurelian Soul Q. He into Vladimir, if we land it, nope. W the Nyla, I know we're fighting in part of the zone right now, which is really bad. But hopefully my teammates will be clean up. We got the Viego, very nice. Not bad. And let's grab Kindle Gem. And slowly work our way towards Everfrost. So when you are waiting in base, you can't actually wait for items because the amount of gold that you receive as the game progresses is a very high amount. So you see we're already at 230. We can just wait for the Everfrost here and grab this item here. A little secret I can do is you can grab this while also buying your item. And you're just a lot more efficient. So Silas is a very straightforward combo. Kite back here. Maybe we can get on the Rallyan Soul. Oh, that's rough. Goodbye, ladies and gentlemen. That was a fail flash at its finest. But that is okay. Our Viego is gonna take it away right here. Very nice. We're grabbing the Rallyan Soul body. I'll be honest, I don't even know if he even knows how to play Realm Soul, because who plays that champion? Very nice. Get back on the map here. Next item on the list. I am looking at a Zhonya's to keep me invulnerable for the Karthus ult. That will be very helpful there. So I'll be skipping Shadow Flame probably, and then I'll go Ravage right after. So grab Realm Soul here. Give my Katarina some space to do whatever she wants. I'll steal Nyla ult here. I don't know how, how it works, but we're just gonna use it. Kill Karthus here. We'll save my E to escape the Karthus. Gotta get over here. Not bad. Maybe I can get on Kale here. I'm just gonna suicide. We got kill pretty low, which is not bad. Let's go, oh, Viego got him. Not bad. All right, the next question is, do we want to go Merc Treads for the Aurelian Soul Q or go Sword Shoes for more damage? And in this case, we'll go Sword Shoes for more damage. We'll start building towards our Zhonyas and see what happens. There appears to be some fighting going on here. Let's check it out. Who's this? The Katarina's waiting in the bushes. We'll grab my cloth. Head on over there to try to help out. He's still there. I'll grab the Karthasel back up for a second. I'll drop the Karthasel so ca they get lower for Katarina. Not bad. We'll land a Snowball. Follow up with E. Everfrost. I have to W Kale because Karthas is invulnerable. And maybe that sets up my teammates to 1v9. Not bad. It's funny how when Viego takes Karthas and he dies, he gets the Karthas passive, so he gets to keep shooting people. Very nice combination of speed. Beautiful. Alright. Let's go to the map here. Whose ult do we want to steal next? I think Vladimir. I don't think it's very good, but it's an awesome. Ooh, I messed up. I could have got the Rallying Soul if I used my Flash properly, but I really messed up there. It's all good. Alright, on to the map we go. We are still winning this game because every time they do kill us, they aren't getting any power damage. Which is one of the most important things in this game, is slowly making your way towards the enemy turret. However, with the increased death timers, it sometimes people say it doesn't matter past the oh. The card is here, we'll ever cross him too. We'll snowball when we can. I got him. Got him. I am still alive with 1 HP. Minions, get off me. Oh, everyone's dead. Very nice. I'm gonna suicide for sure. We have a bunch of low HP targets. It's about 20 seconds, I believe, to suicide. 
to the side here. I can hit it. Oh, I took both towers. If I only took one tower, Katarina would have been able to execute easily there. My bad, Katarina. I hogged both of them. Get back on the map here. We're gonna build towards Ravdon next for some damage. We have 16 Dark Harvest stacks, which is pretty good. Dark Harvest is also another popular rune in Aram due to the fact that you can stack it very often. Because there's a lot of people who are low HP near you. I can ever cross him. He's gone. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna discard this Q. Notice how I eat away, then I eat back in if I were to land it. I don't know who's ult, I just, I just took it off. That's max range Q? Nope. Push the wave here. Very nice. And now we'll be able to hit the turret. This is where you really win the A-Ram, if you're able to hit the turret. Gotta cross on the minion, to push out a little bit faster. W, start taking an inhibitor. And right here, we're probably just gonna jump straight on the card that's trying to kill him if he walks up by himself. I don't mind going on this guy. I'll pop a Zanya, we'll take Nyla ult. So we'll do as much damage as we can before we go down. Very nice. Very nice, he takes down the Aurelian souls before going down. We'll start building towards our Rabadons now. Oh my god, that was an absolute one shot, ladies and gentlemen. That looked like it hurt, I'm not gonna lie. Rabadon's death pop, I'll be honest, doesn't feel great to buy. In the sense of when you're on the way, because the items are so expensive, being at 1250 for any of the components, whereas all other items have small components like amplifying tones, maybe even the blasting one for 850. This, you only have one option. We can have an soul here if we can. Nope. We'll grab the Kale ulti. Oh, she's not available. She's almost available. Oh, I was going in. Karthus is messed up. I'm going to take Karthus ult back up. And pop the Karthus ult. And I'll E back onto Nyla. Ooh, that flash! Push out the wave here. Not bad. And it looks like the game is over here. We will end the game. Very nice. GG, well played. That is game number two. Victory. And let's check out the damage here. We have the most... Oh, no, we do not have the most damage. Katarina has the most damage. OP champion in ARAM. Go next. Alright, let's try to get Jin here. Oh, oh! Give me that Jin. Any chance? Oh, he actually gave me the Jin. How nice of him. Alright, there you go. I got them with the rerolls. Enjoy. Let's set my runes. Let's grab Fleet, Presence, Bloodline, Cutdown. Cutdown's very strong. And then we'll run... You can run Celerity if you want. I'm gonna run Absolute Gathering. And we can run Adaptive or Task Speed. I just run a Task Speed on Jin. And we go from here. Don't run HP Shard when you have Cutdown. You, you don't want to reduce your damage by a slight amount. Alright. So going into this game, guys, we are against a Blitzcrank. That is not fun at all. I, I don't buy Guardian's Hammer, even though it's really cost-effective. All the ARAM items are cost-effective because we have cut down. Right now, the question is, do we want Gale Force or do we want Eclipse? And from the looks of it, I want to run Gale Force. Since Infinity Edge recently got buffed to 40%, we're going to go Gale Force into Infinity Edge, into LDR from the looks of it. The enemy team looks pretty tanky. I'll start off with the trap over there in case someone tries to face check it. Very nice high murdinger turret turret. That was beautiful. Nice W. 
guy is walking up for no reason. Let's get some damage on him. Very nice. Let's crank can't line a hook. Jack is going in. Auto W to Jack. Okay, so we can Pantheon. I should not have loaded my fourth shot at him. Beautiful side on that. Go trace my E on the ground. And now is where you get to have fun as a range champion. If you don't do what I just did. We'll add a W here. We missed. He somehow hit a field goal. Well, more damage here. I am stunned. Very good. Very good CP on the we'll kill Nocturne here real quick. Let's push him off. I have W in a second. I'm done. I can't get my fourth shot. Play this trap right here. We'll stun the Pantheon. Oops, he blocked it. We'll get one hit on the turret. Start fighting backwards, and we are dead. Pull them on the trap so we can do some damage. Not bad, and we'll grab our pickaxe. You can grab your boots of swiftness, which is not bad. Actually, I'll probably go boots of swiftness here. I do want to move a bit quicker. So I can space around these melee champions instead of going pickaxe. And then we'll grab pickaxe after our next phase. Here we go. Let's go. Back to the map we can go. Will I get this done? Very nice. Pipe back to the HP shard. Start doing some last hitting. I'm the only one that seems to be able to last it effectively. I'm the only range. Range ADC. Oh. He got hooked out of it. Let's Trying to get some damage in there. Line my W. Line my Q on Nocturne. Try to hit stuff. Not bad. Got a couple autos. Line a W on Pantheon to pop my Ghost. Not bad. I'm still stunned. Oh my god. I can face check here. Not a big deal. About to have a field day with my ultimate. Here you go, let's take it away. What do we got? Number one, number two, number three, and number nope, no four. Death should never be quick. Pantheon is pretty annoying on their team, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can get a W here. Yep, we had something for sure. I got my presence of mind when I landed my W. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's something. That's yeah, up. Let's crank on my trap. Let's hit what we can from right here. So I know Pantheon's gonna W too. We'll, we'll W him. Hit the Blitz Crank. I see Pantheon T is down. Very nice. Can you push? Try to land our W on the Vagar here. Am I gonna miss? The ecstasy. Sion by using his HP bars to do damage. Because the enemy team will be focusing him so I can get some damage output. In any game, game mode, you want to look at your teammates' uh, HP bars as also a resource. Because when the, en when the enemy is focusing your teammates uh, and their HP bar, you should be able to do damage if you're a ranged champion in that time. So be aware of your teammates who are inting, you can use them as a tool, instead of viewing them as getting caught. You will learn what beauty truly is. Art requires a certain skill. Right back here. On a W. Very nice. I, stuff. I walked back here. <laughs> Not. That's fine, I got my Gale for it. Try to line up a W here for someone. See a target right here. Jax, nice. Not bad. Notice how I sit all the way back, my positioning is very good on ADC. Not sitting too far forward. 
We'll start shooting our health. We'll just fire into this mix right here, and then we'll put the candy off the last one. Unfortunately, he did not die. Let's we'll use the Gale Force then. He's gone. I don't like using Gale Force like that. So. Oh! Two for one special! Unfortunately, I do die to the snowball. But that Hibernator got two kills with one W. He spread that shit out all across on them. Beautiful. The question is, will I be able to get 100 gold in 14 seconds of being dead? Probably. So we'll hold on to our gold here, wait until BF sword. And we're slowly whittling down their turret, as expected. We're gonna go here, take the portal, grab the BF sword while we're taking the portal. And head out onto the lane. Try to help up my team. Let's see what we got. He got. Oh, I'm gonna hit the turret once at least. I am dead. I am dead. Because I walked up to hit the turret while the Vagar had. <laughs> Oops. I kind of threw that situation. My bad. Get back on the map here. Hopefully, I don't die when I take this. No, I'm stunned. I'm dead again! I'm alive! No! He had Flash. There's no way. I think I had Gale Force to go. I should have popped Gale Force probably. Not a big deal though. Got the pickaxe. And it looks like we are losing the game because the enemy team has the turn over us. Should be able to bring it back. Fight the doctor here. Try to get some damage. Get my damage. Let's focus on what's next. Until they stop me, I will be fine. Nice play. I'm a W. He should go down. Uh oh. Fight back. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'll get my ultimate here. Atheon is dead. I am dead. Nope, I'm alive. I got my cue to bounce into their back line. Very nice. I believe Jax has flash now. I'm gonna go get this HP shard. Gotta land a W on Jax here. My audience. Oh my god. He's definitely gonna take that. Very nice. I should live here. Very nice. My teammate should get him. Perfect. I'm still standing. That's all that matters. Got the W on Blitzcrank. I'm still useful. Very nice. I think the enemy team is constantly just always waiting for me to walk up and make terrible decisions. So I'll just sit back, play with my Jin ulti, and I'll end up fight after. I think it's a We're not gonna shoot at the Pantheon. Now we'll shoot at Unfortunately, we missed all our I'm really far back, so we're good. Wait, we can be on. You can clearly tell they are focused on me. Oh no! Unfortunate. Now the question is, do we want LDR at this stage of the game now? Cutdown is ramping up very heavily, but I'm having a lot of issues with survivability. So Bloodthirster could definitely be a play here, but LDR will allow us to do more damage. So we'll go with LDR first, and then we'll figure out the abilities to ways to live after, which is probably going to be the Bloodthirster. 
Unfortunately, Guardian Angel is not available in ARAM, as we can see here. Shut There's just a bunch of other Guardian Protection items. Isn't good enough. An enemy has been Oh, that was beautiful. The Scion Q. I'm gonna back up here before I die. I got ulted again in my entire AC bar. Is simply just gone. Very nice. Very close ARAM so far. This performance is more. Try to get some damage on this turret, that's the most important thing. How much can you damage these turrets? Looks like we got it, so that's over. Got my W on Bloodstrain, a bit more damage. Let's pipe back here. It appears I am dead. I'm gonna sound kill this Q. I am dead because I got stunned by the jack into the nocturnal. Unfortunate. Sion is just slowly trying to get hard steel stacked in his zombie form, which is kind of funny. Don't want to take him that. Constantly getting focused. Oh my god. I am getting omega focused by everyone on their team. <laughs> Feels 80 carry, man. Alright, I believe you can buy a stopwatch in ARAM though, so we'll buy that. You can use it for one team fight. I feel like with this w. I'm gonna pop ghost. I want to get a push going. Oh my god. I'm 1 HP. I'm pretty sure Nocturne will ult me when he spawns. So we'll see what we can do. When he ults on us. There it is. Who is he going to go on? He went on our Heimerdinger for And the most important thing I said before is your damage on turf. Oh, that guy just like eat like snowball to a minion. And then he, he jumped off. So very nice! With that siege, we were able to get our double nexus turn, which now sets us up to end the game. The most important thing is the tower damage. When you are winning, it's slowly whittling away at their tower. All right, let's grab a elixir of wrath here. We're almost full build. I don't think we should save the money. Let's grab a BT faster. I think the game will be over in a second. Okay. When I pop my ult here, it's not going on. Two. That's gonna hurt. That's gotta hurt. Is what matters. Got him? Nope. And the game should be over with that. Very nice. Alrighty, here we have game number one. We are against Malphite Nidalee Thresh. We'll purchase Guardian Orb. Probably tier and an HP potion. Pull up all our abilities and get things underway here. This is our carbon stack. Billy's so going in. Right, Italy. I have no idea what the MMR is. Oh, 
Not bad, not bad. Max Q, try to get Dark Harvest here on Thresh. Nice, we got it. Yana. Get some damage here. Get the juke on that Nidalee Spear real quick. Dodge Fiora. Card here. Not bad, not bad so far. Since we have uh, vision from the cannon, we can poke these to delete traps down. Really got an auto on me. Take damage on them, get a fear. Get a nice D in there. Get a thresh. Out the wave here, try to get level 6 as fast as possible. And we got an ace! I can suicide here, actually. I should look. I should definitely look. She teleported back into me, unfortunately, but it's all good. Let's grab some items and build towards my Ludens Tempest. Everyone got an ace, but not a big deal. We'll respawn and try to hold. We'll grab a refill potion here. We're gonna grab this, unlock my camera so I can see what's going on over here. Teleport behind us. Oh, I tanked the spear, I should have W'd. Gotta reset here. Unfortunate, we hit the. Fiora. Period. Bad. Very nice team. Tower here and try to help out our teammates. We'll go down fighting with our boys. Right down. Not bad. Got a couple hits on the turret, which is really important in ARAM. It's slowly whittle whittling down their turrets. Alright. Okay, we got the rest. Taking damage him. Fine, tank the rest. We're not afraid. Oh, I just tanked the spear. That's so sad. Vex is a champion that it's pretty hard to land your abilities, so they travel out pretty slowly. Particularly your Q and E. And it's very awkward to use your W2 because you have to be melee ranged to get full value out of it. So for me personally, I don't really play Vex. Ever. I'll just try to wave clear here as hard as I can. going on here. Oh, there goes my HP. That Malphite with the flash. Nidalee still trying to snipe me. Nidalee has flash. Fine. Grab this HP shard over here. Good. I'll just do as much damage as I can to spirit before I go down. We'll grab our Ludens Tempest and we will grab now. What am I feeling here? 
We can grab Sword Shoes for more damage and more penetration. And then probably grab my Shadow Flame pieces. They have a target with shields. So I'll get max value out of Shadow Flame immediately. And having the extra HP would be really nice to deal with Spear on Kiana who keeps jumping on me. Portal? Back to the game we go. We should end up getting an ace here. You can be all pretty low. I got a triple kill. Alright. Next is any reset champions in ARAM are pretty good because you continuously keep fighting and there's a lot of reset. Alt, just want to use it on. They're all dead, and just push out the wave. Here we take their inhib. Perfect. Put a lot of my abilities, try to get some damage on the turret. One auto, not bad. I'll juke over. I've been malfired also. Got the HP shard over here. Kite backwards as much as we can. Come on, W! I'll be using my ability to stun him. Get his Dark Harvest stack and just keep kiting. We're gonna go on Recute! Okay, not bad. We got a lot of damage on the Malphite while we were kiting backwards, which is not bad. And at this stage of the game, I don't think I really need my tier anymore. You only buy tier for the early game, and then you can end up selling it if you want. Very nice, we got the assist off of Malphite. We can keep the tier and just buy Nidus' Arc Rod instead of selling the tier because we got the assist on Malphite. So we'll continue to hold our mana and deal 5 extra physical damage to minions if we decide to hit them. Back onto the map we go. The reason why we keep winning these fights is because they, we are fighting really close to their base and that's where we're all dying. So we have a lot of time to respawn and get back on the map. That's why even if they're winning the fights on the way back, they're not able to actually take any of our turns. Get my damage out. Oh, I, oh, I missed. Wow. Alright. So tight. Got to help my Heimer. That, I'll fight back. HP shard right here? Or an HP relic, whatever you want to call it. Got him, not bad. Oh, I did not flash in time there. I kind of felt it coming, but I figured that he wouldn't have the Malphite all because he is really low HP, so he probably used it, but he unfortunately had it there, which is all good. Now we have Shadow Flame, and we'll grab Ravnon's Death Cap next. Pretty standard build for AP mages. Where you go Ludens into Shadow Flame into the Rabadon's Death Cap. And then you go with the Void Staff and then maybe end off with the Sonya. Very nice standard traditional build. Alright, let's head off to the map. And this ARAM looking like it's over because the enemy team composition is not good. Full tank Malphite is terrible in ARAM. You should go full AP to blow people up. Nidalee is also a terrible champion. Contrary to popular belief, a lot of people think, oh, she has a lot of spears and heals, and it's really good. She, her damage falls off completely. She's just pretty useless. And to be quite frank, she's also pretty useless in Summer's River. But that's just my opinion. You can disagree. So how much damage you do to a tank? Let's quickly end the game right here. Maybe another hit. Two more hits should do it. There you go. Three guards on the last hit, and that is game number one. Beautiful. Victory.